AI video generators are here and it's breaking the internet. However, are they any good? Let's try for ourselves. In today's video, I'll cover the 5 best AI video generators to create faceless YouTube videos or videos for your business. Essentially, this is ChatGPT but then for videos, meaning you insert a prompt and you'll receive a full video as the result. These videos will include a script, a voiceover, as well as video content, making it a complete faceless video. The first tool we're going to look at is called InVideo AI. This is a tool that can create a full video including a script, voiceover, and video content from just one single prompt. Here's how it works. First of all, we need to give it a topic and then detail instructions in order for it to create our full video. So here's my prompt. My topic will be the five things to do in Amsterdam and then my detailed instructions are right here. Please create an in-depth, very detailed guide on the five best things to do in Amsterdam for tourists that are visiting Amsterdam for a few days. This may include restaurants, attractions, foods to eat and places to stay. The reason I chose this as our video topic is because these videos can get hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views on YouTube. Next up, I can select a workflow. I can choose between YouTube Shorts in order to make a short, either YouTube Explainer, Recent Events Video or Scripted Video. For this, I'm gonna choose YouTube Explainer. Then I'm asked how long the video should be. So this video is gonna be 10 minutes. Next up, I can give even more instructions for the video. So right here, I'm gonna put the same prompt and then here I can give creative directions. So I could say make this a funny video. You can give this any creative direction you want. Then choose the background music. I'm gonna go with upbeat. Select a voiceover. I'm gonna go with a male voiceover with a clear American voice. Now just so you know, you can kind of choose any voiceover you would like. We can then insert a watermark text in case you would like. I'm gonna go with the travel nomad, which could be the name for my channel. And then I'm gonna click on continue. All you need to do now is click generate a video and here you go. InVideo AI is now getting to work and is going to complete our entire video based on just this prompt alone. Now what I found so far using this is that this might take a few minutes depending on the topic as well as instructions you gave it. I'll leave a link for you in the description down below in case you want to follow along this process for free as they allow free signups on InVideo AI. Next up you can choose the audience, look and feel and the platform. So the platform in this case is going to be YouTube, the look and feel is going to be bright, we can also change this to professional or inspiring. And then for the audience, we're gonna choose travel enthusiasts. So it's gonna base our video on these filters. Then click continue and here you go. This is now generating our video. And here we go, this is the video that was generated. Planning to visit Amsterdam? Wondering about the top five things to do in this enchanting city? Picture a vibrant city pulsing with a rich tapestry. So this is a full 10 minute video with content, script and a voiceover all generated from one prompt, which safe to say that's absolutely amazing. Now what's even better is that you can change a lot of stuff you don't like and here's how. You can change things by using the command box, which is right here. So let's say I don't like the voiceover. I can say change the voiceover to female, just like this. I can then click generate and it's then gonna adjust the video based on my prompt. And there you go, it now says, change the voice to a new one. If we play this. Planning to visit Amsterdam? Wondering about the top five things to do in this enchanted. You can see that this is now a female voiceover. And it works like that with pretty much anything. Now that's a feature that I've not seen on any other AI video generation tool yet. So that's fantastic. Apart from that, you can also click edit right here. You can then choose to edit the stock clips. So all of these were automatically selected. If you want to change them, you can either search right here. For example, if I want Amsterdam canals as the opening clip, I search for Amsterdam canals. There will be videos that show up right here. I can then click replace and that video will then be shown as the intro clip. The same goes for the script. You can click on edit, then edit script shows up and you can customize the entire script right here by simply typing yourself and then clicking apply changes. Now overall, this is a fantastic tool. It does exactly what it says it does as well as that it will only get better from here. Let's take a look at the pricing. So if you pay monthly, first of all, there's a free plan available. I'll leave a link for you in the description down below. With the free plan, you can export four videos per week. Keep in mind that does come with InVideo branding watermarks. If you then decide that this might be something for you, you can upgrade. They've got the plus plan and a max plan. For 25 bucks a month, you can create 50 minutes of AI generated content with this tool. If your budget is a little bit higher, you can generate much more content with this all the way up to 500 minutes per month. I'm gonna get started with the plus plan, which I'll actually buy right now since I really like how this works. And here you go. I'm now ready to start making some more content. Next up on the list is Pig3 AI. For this, we wanna to go to the scripted video feature, click on proceed, and this works a little bit different as you can tell by the layout. Instead of having a prompt, 
you need to insert a script. So technically, you can still generate the script with ChatGPT, then insert it, and then have the video generated, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. So this script right here was indeed made by ChatGPT. Also, on the things to do in Amsterdam topic, I'm gonna paste this right here. This is gonna take some loading time. Then you can click on proceed in the top right corner. It's gonna ask you to choose a template. As you can see, there's many templates available. I'll just go with the marketing template for now. Choose aspect ratio. So you've got YouTube format, TikTok format, as well as Instagram square size. I'm gonna go with YouTube and here we go. Our video is now being made with the AI technology. Now, so far, this is definitely not bad. However, what is missing in comparison to in video AI is the prompt to video feature. As you can see, Pictory AI has still generated a full complete video for us, just like in video did. However, on in video, all of this was done with one single prompt. With Pictory AI, you still need to insert the script yourself. However, from that moment on, as you can see, this looks quite all right. This is the storyboard, which is where you can continue to build out your video, as well as customize pretty much everything you would like. When it comes to changing stuff, there's no command box like on NVIDIA AI, where you can simply give it a prompt and it will change it. So everything should be done manually in case you don't like it, which once again is not bad. It's just a little bit different and might take a little bit more work. So in order to change a clip, we cannot say change this clip to, we have to go to visuals. And then from here on, we can search within the library, for example, Amsterdam canals. And then from there on, clips are gonna show up, which we can then select, and that will then be inserted into our video. Let me demonstrate how that works. Let's say that you like this clip, you click on this, and there you go, the clip has now changed. And the same goes for all of the text. Whether you don't like the script or you wanna make some adjustments, you have to do it yourself by clicking right here, changing the text, or for example, clicking right here, then moving this along, or changing the text color, etc. This can also come with a voiceover. For that, you need to go to audio, go to voiceover, and then you can choose any of these voices. For this video, I'll go with Ayanda, which is a female voiceover. So for that, I'm gonna click apply, and there you go. Your entire video now has a voiceover. Now let's take a look at what this video looked like. For that, I'm gonna click download, click download video right there. It's gonna process our video. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? A red light district that's both fascinating and controversial and a football club that's been dominating the Dutch league for decades. Let's take a look at pricing for Pick3 AI. So the standard plan is gonna come in at 19 bucks per month, which is a little bit cheaper than in video AI. However, it doesn't come with all of the same features. In fact, it has a little bit less features. If you wanna get started creating videos with Pick3 AI the best way possible, then I do recommend taking the premium plan. As with this, you can generate longer videos, more videos, as well as higher quality videos with the amount of stock footage clips that you're able to use. Overall, a pretty good result. The only downside is that you still have to submit your own script as well as make all the changes manually instead of being able to submit a prompt. Further on our list is Flicky AI. This is a very similar tool to the previous two, but it has a few more different features. Allow me to demonstrate this to you. In order to get started, click on new file, and then you can choose video. Choose the language. I'm gonna go with English. However, all of them are available. You can even choose a dialect, enter a file name, and then you can choose with what you wanna start. You can start with an empty file, an idea, a blog, a PowerPoint, or a tweet. So I'm gonna go with an idea, but all other options are available too. Then click submit and it's gonna process, which will then send you over into the idea to video part. So this is prompt to video. And here we go, convert it successfully. Now this only took about two minutes, so much less than six minutes, and it's now done. So this is a layout on Flick AI. In order to change the size for your video, you can click on settings and then right there, click on landscape, click save, and then there we go. This will now be YouTube size. Now what you might notice right away is that I told it to create a long video that should be about five minutes. However, the video only ended up being two minutes and 25 seconds. So right at the bat, that's not too great. Apart from that, as you can see, scene number one is actually our script, which to be honest, I don't like that much because now we need to delete this entire script right there so that it starts on the right moment, which is right here. So all of this right here was indeed generated by Flick AI. So it's cool to see that they do have that prompt video feature. 
that NVIDIA has, but PIC3 is missing. But what about the quality? Is it any good? Welcome to the city of canals, Amsterdam, a city renowned for its artistic heritage, complex canal system, and narrow houses. So that seems all right. That's good information. Now, if I scroll down, that will pretty much continue to be good information. The only thing I do not like is the length of the video. I told it to be about five minutes. It's only two. Let me now preview the video it made for you. Welcome to the city of canals, Amsterdam, a city renowned for its artistic heritage, complex canal system, and narrow houses. So that's quite all right. They put automatic subtitles up on the screen as well, which is a good feature, which you can customize as well, by the way. However, in terms of usability and the features, I don't like it as much as the previous two. Reason I say that is because the other ones are drag and drop. So you can select stuff in the frame, whereas on Flicky, I cannot select the text right here. I, I cannot drag it along or anything like that. In order for me to do that, I need to click in the text and then on the right hand side, all of this will show up. So we've got the voiceover in terms of volume and speed. We then have the placement for the text, which we can change right here. You can also turn the subtitles off, which is a good feature to have. We can change the font, the size, display, text color, etc. So it's not like that is a hard thing to do. I just wish that it would be drag and drop to make it even easier. So let's say that we want to make the text yellow. I can drag this to yellow, drag that to the top right corner, and there you go. Our text is now yellow. We can also use animations in case you would like to. In terms of changing the clips, it's very similar to Pictory. You simply click on that clip and you then search. So for example, Amsterdam canals search and then just like that you select a video that you would like to replace it with and that would then be inserted so everything is pretty much the same the only feature that they do have is the ai generator so you can generate images using ai and then include that in your video in my opinion that's a pretty cool thing to do for example amsterdam canals style is going to be digital art and then there you go you can then generate that and then include that into your video. That's a feature that does make Flicky AI unique. Is that really worth taking Flicky AI over the other ones? Probably not, but it's a cool thing to do. Here we go. This is what it now generated, which to be honest, does look pretty fantastic. You can then click use this art or regenerate. I'm going to go use this art and then there you go. It just inserted that into my video which to be honest, I'm actually very happy with. In order for me to now download the video, I can click download right here click start export, click start, and there you go. That would then be downloaded on my device. Let's take a look at pricing for Flick AI. So there's a free plan available, which is good. However, that's not really gonna get you what you're looking for. So for the standard plan, this is gonna come in at $28 per month, which to be honest is decent pricing, definitely not bad. However, if we compare it to the previous two and consider all of the features and consider the fact that Flick AI was not really that accurate in terms of the video that it produced, I wouldn't recommend taking Flicky AI. Overall, not specifically a bad tool, it's just not gonna win it from the previous two. Next up on our list is Lumen5. This has a similar thought process. In order to get started, you can sign up for a free account, then click on new video right here. Then it's kind of the same process that we've seen before. First of all, you can choose a template. Now, as you can see, if I start scrolling, you'll see that there's quite a lot of templates that they've put available. And what you notice as well is that this is kind of more PowerPoint style. So this can be very good for presentation, explainer, or corporate videos. Let's say that I'll go with the brilliant template. I can simply click right here, select the format, just like on the other tools, and then click use the format. Next up, I can then choose how to create the video. We can either transform our text into a video with the AI script composer or upload our own video. Now, of course, we're gonna choose this option right here. From here on, you can either upload a URL from your blog, for example, or you can paste your video script, which is exactly what we're going to do. Then next up, click on continue with AI, and then you can compose the script with AI in case you would like to. Now, if you're going to end up using Lumen5, then I do recommend doing that as you can make some good adjustments. From there on, click continue, then click convert to video, and that's where they're going to generate your full video. Now, what you might notice right off the bat is that this is very similar to Pictory in terms of how the editing and how the software looks. On the right hand side, your video will show up. And then if you start scrolling, you have all of the scenes from your video. And on the left hand side, you can customize all of that. Let's preview what that looks like. So this is our current video. These are the scenes, as you can see, very, very similar to Pictory. Now, this right here, in my opinion, is not that great right off the bat. This is a decent scene, but you can see it varies a lot depending on the scene, depending on what you're talking about, etc. I don't like that the style is kind of changing. So now we've got this color scheme showing up at bottom left, and then the next clip is gonna be white, 
still bottom left. If we then go over here, different kind of style. Now the text is up here. So that is something I don't like. However, it is indeed able to create a video with your script and it has very relevant background footage. Now what I like as well is that you could easily adjust the length of a clip just by clicking right here or right there. You can also swap the designs, you can shuffle colors. So this is actually pretty decent. They'll give you a lot of options to customize your video as you can see right here. So if there's something you do not like, it's very, very easy to change that. For example, let me click right there and here we go. We now have got the opening scene with the text, which is perfect. Apart from that, pretty much the same as Pictory. So you've got icons that you can add, you can add music, you can choose the style, you can click on the format and change it. And then right there, we've got all of these script. So in fact, it's actually pretty much a copy of Pictory AI, or it's the other way around, who knows? Now you are indeed able to record a voiceover. However, I've not been able to figure out if you can add a text-to-speech voiceover directly within the software. It doesn't look like it, which is definitely a huge downside. Lumen5 has a basic plan, which is just $29 per month, which comes with the features that I basically just showed you. They then also have a starter plan at $79 and a professional plan at $200 per month. Now, to be honest, this is not the best tool, especially not if you want to create entertaining YouTube videos. However, if you want to create PowerPoint-style kind of videos, either for corporate use or anything else, this might be the one for you. But if you're comparing this to a tool like NVIDIA AI, for example, to create faceless YouTube videos, this by no means is gonna win it. And then last but not least, or who knows, we've got Wave.Video. You can sign up for a free account. If you then click on create, we've got a few different options. We can start with a blank video, a blank image, video recording, but then right here you can see generate video with AI. And you can do that from text or from your blog post. So I'm gonna click from text. Then right there you can paste the title, five things to do in Amsterdam. Then we have to paste our script. And then what I like about this is that it's gonna give you text formatting hints. And then right there on the left hand side, it's gonna show you the best way for you to insert your script. They'll then ask you to choose the aspect ratio as well as a format. So we're gonna go with horizontal and then we can scroll through the templates. Now, as you can see, there are not too many. There's only nine templates available. Comparing that to InVideo, as well as all of the other tools, that's not too much. Let's say we're gonna go with this one. You select it, you click create video, and it will then send you over to the wave.video editor. So in terms of the process, it's pretty smooth and easy to use. However, is the quality gonna be good enough? Let's find out. And here we go, this is what it looks like. Now what I like about this is that it really functions like a video editor. That's exactly what it's made in mind with as well. So we've got all of the scenes showing up in a classic video editor layout, which I like. Now if I preview this, this is what our video now looks like five things to do in Amsterdam. Now what you might notice right at the bat is that the things is already split up. So it says thing and then the S is in the third layer instead of the second one is one word as well as Amsterdam does not even show up. So that right there isn't too great, which means we have to customize it. So as you can see, the text is indeed there. However, it doesn't fit. If we drag it like this, it goes over the video, so that doesn't work either. So this definitely does have a few mistakes that you need to fix manually, which if we think about the goal in mind, which is AI video generator that functions well, this is not the perfect one for you. However, in terms of editing and the process, I do like how the tool works. So this is what it now generates. Now, unfortunately, we cannot choose by usability. We have to choose by quality and then usability, which means that wave.video is definitely not gonna be a winner. Now, just like the other tools, they've got templates, they've got stock media, as well as editor, layouts, text, overlays and stickers, watermarks, audio, etc. So everything is there. It's just not as good just yet. If we take a look at pricing, there's a free plan available. Then the first plan is the streamer plan at 20 bucks per month. You've got a creator plan at 30 bucks a month and then a business plan at 60 bucks per month. Overall, as a video editor, this is definitely a good tool. In terms of an AI video generator, it's probably not the one for you. So my conclusion is that AI video generators are indeed here. They'll only get better from here, which is a good thing. However, some work and some don't. If you're looking for the best one, in my opinion, that's going to be in video AI. I'll leave a link for you to sign up for that for free in the description down below. Since I just bought it myself as well, I'm going to play around with this a bit more to figure out the best videos I can make with this and hopefully make some money. Let me know which tool you would like me to test next and who knows, maybe I'll end up on the channel. Have a good day.